everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be checking out the seven new horse coat variations for this week's new update. And um, let's go ahead and read the news page and then we'll get into it. Hey Star Fam, some new horse friends have made their way to Jorvik along with a new story snack from Miss Holdworth. Seven new horses. Can you hear that? What's all that stomping, and why is the ground shaking? You look towards the horizon and see seven horse silhouettes coming closer. They are all brand new, highly requested variations of existing breeds. They are now permanently, permanent additions to Jorvik. Here are the beautiful breeds and where to find them. The English Thoroughbred can be found at Marley's Farm and is 850 star coins. The Appaloosa can be found at Starshine Ranch next to the Display Horse and is 900 star coins. The Irish Cobb can be found in Vildale and is 850 star coins. Two Icelandics can be found in New Hillcrest and the 950 star coins. The American Quarter Horse can be found at Starshine Ranch next to the Display Horse and is in 950 star coins. And the Pasifino can be found at Steve's Farm and is 950 star coins. Uh, story snacks. Ms. Holdsworth isn't finished looking into the past. This week, she found a very interesting account of the Vela, suggesting they migrated to Jorvik long ago. Join her to hear her research, and, but hang on tight and involve some tragic stories. And then Happy Horse Week. We want the new horses to be the happiest, to have the happiest welcome to Jorvik. Therefore, we're treating you to seven days free stable care. This means that uh, of this means that all of your horses will be feeling their very best for an entire week. Coming next week, the Bobcats are coming together for some riding sessions, but Loretta seems to be upset. So, that's very interesting, but let's go ahead and get into the game. So, seven horses with the new coat variations have arrived in Jorvik, and the Miss Holdsworth has found a very interesting account with the Vela. Now, um, when I logged on, you know, I just saw that, and I was, you know, just preparing to get ready to film this video, but then I had this, and I clicked on this, and it was a gift for you from Star Stable. Now, the code for getting the free stable care is uh, happy horses I, or happy horse, I think. So type that in if you guys want that. But also, if you do that, let me know down in the comments if you got this. Because I got this and I don't know why I got this. I opened one up and there were free horseshoes I got. Um, designer horseshoes, two pairs of design, designer quality horseshoes don't really know why i have this also the stuff has been fixed at least for the fair items but i'm going to i'm going to check what this stuff is at like what this is so we have a apple we have a party hat we have another party hat we have another party hat we have another horseshoe we have another horseshoe we have another apple and we have another apple. So I think that's kind of weird. Are these all the same horseshoe? Yeah. So I don't really know why this happened. Let me know down in the comments below if this happened to you when you guys typed in the happy horse code, redeem code, to make you have seven days free stable care. See, I have also seven days free stable care. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and put this away, and I'm going to put this in here. Now, are these the same? Yeah, these are the same birthday hats that I already have. So I think I might just sell them because they are 100 shillings. So I might do that. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I'll put my apples in here. Move those up because they're more and then we have horseshoes now what are these horseshoes that's my druid and oh i have two druids okay can they be placed on top of each other no okay can these be placed no okay there we go okay well that's fine um as you guys can see i'm on bear so that means i've leveled up carrots um now we just have bear um mickey uh, Harley, Galaxy, and Emerald to level up, and with these new horses that came out, I don't know if I'm going to be getting any, I probably will get at least one, 
um otherwise the video would be really boring <laughs> but yeah um i also bought another one of the halters i think i got the light brown so i have the blue and light brown halter i think i'm gonna get all of them maybe except the yellow one because that one's a bit like weird i don't like it but this is the new pasafino i think that the coat itself is beautiful but these markings kind of freak me out um i don't really know what they i guess they're dapples but hey carrots <laughs> um but yeah i don't know how i feel about them i think overall it's a nice beautiful horse um i think the face is really pretty it reminds me a lot of the bay but this one is like has like a really soft face it's really pretty except for these if star stable did not do these dapples on it i think that i would actually get this horse but since they did the dapples i can't get it um i just don't like it um so the first pasifino is off the list um now we're gonna head over to marley's farm because there's a new english thoroughbred over there and then i think we should head over to starshine i'm actually not gonna go to Valedale. if you guys want to go check out the irish cob that's the new chestnut irish cob then you guys can go watch someone else or you guys can go there yourself um it's just because i don't want to send the shillings to go all the way up there because i know i'm not gonna get that one because it's just i don't like the um irish cops so sorry anyone who likes them but i don't like them so i'm not gonna go over there and so now we have this perlino english door but i think that it's really pretty it's really nice it's really cute i like the blue eyes it looks really nice but it it's not my color i <laughs> i guess um I'm going to check out the news page. So, English Thoroughbred checked it out. Appaloosa, Starshine Ranch, Irish Cobb, we're not going there. I slim six out at New Hillcrest, Starshine Ranch, and Steve's Farm. So, now we're going to head over to Starshine Ranch. Um, because that's where two of them are. I think I might be getting one of them there. I might not. We'll see. Um, yeah. I do want to kind of express my opinion about this, though, for just a second. I don't know if why really Star Stable did this. Um, I don't know if these were actually requested color coat colors that like like they said, but I don't find a reason for them to make new coats that we have already had. Like not coats that we've already had, but like on breeds that we already have. Instead of focusing their time and attention on breeds that we don't have. Like they got rid of the Oldenburg without updating it. Like, I want an updated Oldenburg. You know, like, I think they were really nice. And then, um, I want my updated Morgans. And I want my updated Mustangs. So, like, if Star Stable has an updated majority of Generation 1 or 2 breeds, then why are they focusing, for, focusing their attention on breeds that we already have, but just new coats? And also, I would much rather to pay my, like, my money and my star coins on breeds that we don't have yet, compared to coats and breeds that we do already have that weren't released originally. Because even though they're here for a long time, they're gonna be here till the game ends. But, it's still kind of a pressure to get them, because of they're new and so everyone wants them everyone likes them you know so yeah so um here is the new american quarter horse i would say it's like a silver like buckskin or something like that i i find it to be really nice it reminds me of like vanilla frosting or something i don't know i just want to eat it but like also with with bear it's like chocolate cake with vanilla frosting yummy i love that um but the american quarter horse is not for me i also um i'm going to make a video talking about like how i think we're in generation four not three anymore another more on that in a different video okay but yeah so this is the appaloosa i think it's so pretty like I have a name already for this horse. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get it or not, but I think it is so, so pretty. Um, it's going to be a stallion if I do get it, but yeah, I think it's really nice. I think it's really cute. I think it's really pretty. This does the hair terrible, just so you know. This one also looks really bad. I think the best bet that you'll 
get on this horse is either this roach one or the original mane. Like, yeah. But I really like this horse, so that one's gonna stay in my in like my pocket in the back of my head for now. And um, there's actually this, so I'm gonna grab it. Thank you. Okay, so now we're gonna head off to New Hillcrest to go check out the Icelandics. But we're also gonna go ahead and go do the story quest, story snack, whatever you wanna call it, um, while we're there as well. I'm not gonna buy any horses till after that, if I do buy any horses. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna get any or not. Like, I don't know. I have 17,000 star coins, so I'm good on star coins. I didn't buy any for this double star coin. I actually was thinking about it, but it ended on Monday, and I checked it Tuesday, but the news page didn't disappear. So, like, I thought that we still had them. Usually with double star coins or with bundles, they, the news page disappears after, like, it expires. So yeah but it whatever it's fine um all right so we are here oh that's not them this is them oh my gosh they're so cute this pinto is adorable okay i actually want to see the main styles for these horses because i forgot so we have that we have the aquatech we have this roached one we have the punk rock star and we have the pony one yeah i think these two are like my favorite but i also like the roach one too like that one i have on one of my horse my icelandics and it's really nice i actually wish that they did this for all the horses like instead of them roaching like all the way because i feel like just the roach looks so weird that i'm keeping the forelock for the horse that would make me want to keep my horses like make them have a roached mane there his face just looks terrible like that but i really like this horse it's really nice and unique um it's not mirrored either so i really like that and the mane isn't mirrored either and i think that's really pretty actually it is mirrored but that's fine the face looks really nice i think that the legs the high stockings are really nice too um Here's the something, I forget what it's called. And then here's the gallop, and then here is the tolt. Yeah, this horse is just really pretty. I think it looks really, really nice. But um, yeah, I mean, I like it a lot. And then we also have this bay. My horse is not wanting to move to get to the bay. He's like, I'm the only bay. <laughs> oh, sorry, I just hit my microphone. Um, this horse is also really pretty. It has no white markings, as I can tell. Let's actually go to the main and change it. Yeah, this has no white markings. Like, I'm so surprised that they did this. This horse is so pretty. I love it so much. It is such a cute pony. Like, it's, I guess it's not a pony. It's an Icelandic. But it is so cute. It's so pretty. Um, I really, really like it a lot. And. I think I b like both of these Icelandics. If I had to get one and had to choose one, I don't know which one I would pick. Like, if you guys did not know, I really want this one, but I never have gotten it just because I just never have gotten it. <laughs> um, but I do like them both, like, a lot. And, I mean, like, if I had to choose one, I think I would choose the bay just because this one, like, even though I like it a lot, the bay is just a solid bay, and I really like that. But, I don't know. We'll see which one I choose. Um, I might be getting one. I might be getting more than one. I don't know. I have to counter in the fact of, like, the Halloween update and also the Belgian Warbloods in Christmas. Because, like, Star Stable is raising their prices for Star Coins and Star Rider. So, like, I don't want to buy Star Coins unless I absolutely have to. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> What you, whoa a bird just went in the wall so yeah i mean i don't know we'll see what i do because i want to level up all of my animals my animals all my horses that i have right now before i get any other horses you guys know that i like to do that but i don't know if i want 
hopes to do that today just because like the new horses i want this video to not be boring for you guys <laughs> um so yeah i mean i don't i don't know like what a horse i want to get like it's between one of the icelandics and i think the appaloosa i already have a name picked out for the appaloosa so i don't know if i'm leaning more towards that or not but you know we'll see um oh i just ran into this um i could always wait um for a, like i could always wait i don't know so yeah i i don't know <laughs> what i want to do um hi miss holdsworth great news kitties i finally got my hands on historia com i don't even know how to say it i'm not even gonna try i'm not even gonna try your vic <laughs> the historical comper hoover in more whatever she said yeah i understand alex blah don't they teach you latin at school anymore no they do not let's just refer to as the big book of witches okay that makes sense it's a comprehensive anthology on the blah, 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 of all known history histories monographs and research of Jorvik witches i found a very interesting account of the vela it suggests that they migrated to Jorvik long ago other than jan jarl perhaps around the same time as the cultures the writer believes a few individual rich w witches or perhaps a small coven traveled here from the shores of finland or the shores of northern germany amazing Wow, that's over 800 years ago. But why don't we see them out in the open like you or even P or Pi, however you say your name? Excellent question. The answer is also in our or big book. I'm not sure who whose hand wrote this, but it is very old. The style of the language and the writing suggests that the druid, that this is a druid uh, recounting what happened between the Vela and Jan Jarl. Listen closely to this. Uh, and on that day, a few remaining Vela gathered deep in the heart of Devil's Gap, their hearts bent upon vengeance and spite for the trespassing commuted by Jan Jarl and his household. They cursed the lands about their mountain retreat laying a wasting curse upon once fertile fertile fields and forests that surrounded it the curse name with the great wait the curse came with a great price it also affected the health of the world weave and pretend and prevented the restoration of the life warden trees this combined with the required magic to steal seal their enslaved against intruders res uh, resulted in a strict leash upon the vela's mobility across Jorvik. this confirms what's been long suspected in witchy circles that the vela are more or less trapped within the confines of devil's gap i say more or less because there have been reports of strange sightings and events over the years you you know a lot about the forgotten fields right linda willed weave what's that has everyone traveled to devil's gap i guess they kind of trap themselves okay um you know a lot about the forgotten fields right linda okay let's do this one i've lived here my whole life and i've never heard of willed weave strange name tragic uh curses are always tragic you may think me think me an old fuddy duddy i don't even know why i don't okay um but i say it's better to talk things out by the time young jarl's great grandchildren were bouncing babies on their knees i where is she getting these words okay um, the Villa Witches were talked of only as folklore, superstition, and figures used to frighten unruly children. I needed to get crackling on collecting more information about the Wild Weave 
will, I don't know, um, a very old word meaning forest. I think you'll agree, um, that's a very good clue to follow. So, forest weave, I guess, I don't know. Okay. I am going to dive back into the stacks. You kids should go out and get some fresh air. Don't get into any trouble now, you hear toodles. Okay, so I'm actually getting really close to level 21, so I'm excited for that. Hey, Anne, she said to go get some fresh air. This is not fresh air. Go outside, like me, okay? Go ride your horsies. <laughs> um, but yeah, as you can see, I'm getting really close. Like, a couple more bajillion quests, and I'll be to level 21. So, I'm excited for that. I know that someone was at level 23, and, like, the next story snack that we're gonna do, they're probably gonna level up to level 24, so I think that's amazing. I really like that with the story snacks, Star Stable's actually giving us some character XP, and hopefully we'll be getting more character XP throughout the next snorry, 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 story quests, or snorry snacks, snorry, I keep saying snorry, but it's story snacks, because, um, I would love to level up. So, yeah. I have not leveled up in a while. So, that would be really awesome if I could level up to level 21. So, yeah. Woohoo. Yay. Okay. So, now it's time to go buy some horsies. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the math. So, on my calculator. On my phone. Um, wherever it is, there it is. So, I have 17,023 star coins. If I bought an Appaloosa, I would be at 16,000. Yeah. And then, if I bought an Icelandic, I would be at 15,000. And then... Out of the horses that I want, we don't know how much the Belgian warm blood is going to be, but I'm gonna guess somewhere between like 900 star coins, 950. If they're 950 and they don't have a special move, I'm gonna be majorly upset because that is not worth it. But I'm probably still gonna get it because I love my warm bloods, okay? Um. Now, with the Icelandics, don't get me wrong, I like them a lot, and I really want one, okay? But I don't know which one to get, so I'm not going to get one today. Comment down below which Icelandic I should get, because I really want to hear what you guys think. And, um, yeah. I think I'm going to go to Starshine Ranch, and I'm going to get the Appaloosa. Because I really like it. I have a name for it. I know that I have a ton of Appaloosas, okay? I know. And I love the Icelandics, but they're also 950, and I'd rather, like, just do 900. Besides, I already have a name picked out for the Appaloosa, so I'm going to get that one, and I'm going to do the name. I don't know what main style I'm going to do on it, because... The only one that looks good is the starter one, or I think the roached, but I don't like the roached on it, so, yeah. Sorry, I was yawning. <laughs> um, I'm tired. It's, um, 9.07 a.m. where I am right now where I'm, when I'm filming, so, yeah. But we're gonna get this horse. I think it's really pretty. It's going to be a youngster. It's gonna be a stallion. His name is going to be Fox. Um, just Fox, I guess. Um, I think it's really pretty. I love the Appaloosa. I love the face. It is so nice and cute, and I like it a lot. I'm actually going to go back, and I'm going to check the main styles. No. 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 <laughs> I think I have the hiccups now. Oh. Yeah, I do. Um, no. No. I think this is red. No. 
and even this one i'm like no so i don't know okay i'm just gonna choose this one for now i'm gonna personalize it got that um fox okay bye horse yay fox hi welcome to the stable <laughs> um i think he's so cute and pretty and i like him a lot um I was actually not going to get the Appaloosa just because I have, like, two other Appaloosas to train still. Why is this girl just sitting here? Like, is she AFK or something? I'm just going to be like, hi. No response. Okay, yeah, I think she's AFK. Um, actually, let's stop and go there, not take the trailer. Oh, <sighs> you want again. Yeah. Um, hey, carrots, what is it? Oh, bluebell, I don't, I don't know, I see carrots. Yeah, I mean, it's a chestnut, you know. So I think this um, Appaloosa is a red roan, I believe. Sorry, bear, I did not mean to do that. Yeah, I think this horse is a red roan. I'm gonna do it after emerald, I guess, I don't know. Um, let's go and take a look at him. I keep wanting to say her because his face just reminds me of a girl, but I really want this to be a him. So the butt is very unique. It also has a dorsal stripe, which I think is really cute. Um, I think this horse would actually be really good without Appaloosa markings, but you know, it's on the Appaloosa, so it had to have some kind of Appaloosa marking, you know, but yeah. Um, let's make a little outfit with this horse. Um, I don't know what would look good on this horse because it's like a red and like no bridle matches it. Um, I think I'll just do black because why not, you know? Actually, let's do a western one for this horse. I like this one actually a lot. Um, I did not mean to do that. Okay. Let's do saddle pad um i think this one actually looks kind of nice this yellow one actually looks really good on this horse but i like this one a lot more um and we'll do an english saddle then actually how would a western saddle look it actually wouldn't be that bad on this horse um but I think I want to do an English. Yeah. And then boots or leg wraps. How do leg wraps? Leg wraps. They did such a terrible job now with the new horses and the leg wraps. Like, come on, Star Stable. Like, horses in real life, you can get leg wraps to fit their legs. Like, what the heck? Come on. Like, I ride with leg wraps a lot and like any horse can fit with leg wraps as long as they're big enough so i don't know what to what boots to do with this horse um i guess i'll do these black ones like you never go wrong with black ones i think he is so cute and so pretty this up uh, this shirt does not match it at all Let's get a different shirt on. Um, no. I actually want this one for this one, so. I'm gonna do that. Which, I kinda wanna change the saddle pad then. Um, to like a red. That actually looks nice on this horse. It goes there. Okay. Yeah, that looks really good, actually. I like it a lot. Okay. Um, I guess there's no really gates. Sorry, I'm yawning again. Um, um, yeah, I guess there's no gates. I mean, there are gates. But there's no gates for me to really show you because I have a ton of Appaloosas. So, like, there's really no need um, for that, but, you know, let's go ahead and check out the main styles one last time before I make up my mind to not change it. So, this is definitely no, 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 
No. No. And surprisingly, actually, no. I think the last one is actually the original main style. So, yeah. Um, but I really, really like this horse. This is just so pretty. Um, I think that it looks really, really nice. And I do think I'm going to get um, maybe like one of the Icelandics in the future. But I really like this horse. It is just so pretty. And I can't, like, I'm excited. I mean, I'm glad I got this horse. Like, even though I now have 16,000 star coins, I'm okay with that. This horse is really worth it. I think Fox is so pretty and so cute. And, um, I'm excited to start training him. I know I'm going to do him after Emeralds, but I'm going to step up my training game because I know that, like, I don't know, <laughs> like, um, we are, we're getting the Halloween horses, and then we're getting Gubbleton Warmbloods, and then we're gonna get Christmas horses, so, you know, I'm excited to see that, um, like, what horses we get, like, we already know what Halloween horses we're getting, we know that most of the Weld Belgian Warmbloods, but there's a one white one that we don't know yet, um, but yeah, I'm just excited to see what Star Stable has in the future for ending up and wrapping up 2022 and going into 2023. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!